The Canadian Cancer Foundation estimates that around one in nine women will develop breast cancer over their lifetimes. However, that statistic does not tell the full story. When a woman is diagnosed with breast cancer at an early stage, the probability of survival is high. But as the tumor grows inside the breast, the likelihood of the cancer spreading to other parts of the body increases. And that's when the forecast becomes dire. Once cancer cells appear outside the breast, the probability of survival after 10 years is as low as 22%. This means that even after a stressful surgery and months of chemotherapy, the patient might never be cancer free. This is why early diagnosis is so important. The sooner the cancer is treated, the better the chances for recovery. The disadvantage of the current screening tool, X-ray mammography, is that repeated exposures to X-rays might lead to a woman developing cancer. This is why in Canada, a screening is only recommended for women above the age of 50 to limit the amount of radiation received by X-rays over their lifetimes. An alternative being researched is microwave imaging. This technology uses radio waves similar to the ones used by a regular cell phone to find abnormalities inside the breast. This works like a radar system. We have our antenna that we place close to our breast, and then we send a short radio pulse that will travel inside the breast until it finds a tumor with high water content, and then it will reflect back to our antenna. This happens because radio waves are reflected in bodies with high conductivity, and inside the breast, tumors have the highest conductivity because of their water content. For this technique to work, it is necessary to know the speed of the radio wave inside the breast because those waves travel at a different speed in different tissue. This is not an easy task because the breast is made out of various tissue types and we don't know beforehand the mix we might find in a particular breast. My research focuses on developing a reliable way to find the speed of the radio waves inside the breast. This is important because using the correct speed in the system leads to a better diagnostic tool. Microwave imaging is still being researched, but early studies have shown that it is a good candidate as a safe and reliable diagnostic tool that will allow for screening before the age of 50. Another advantage of this technology is the low cost and that the components can be reduced to a small size. This means that in the future, we may be able to fit a screening device inside a backpack providing increased access to screening to women living in remote locations across Canada or in developing countries. All these advantages are great news, because the sooner the cancer is treated, the better the chances for recovery.